Yo, what is up guys? In today's video, we're going to play some Miner's Haven. Um, this game has been getting a lot more popular as of recently. As uh, they haven't really been updating the game a lot, but now they're starting to update it again. And it's starting to gain back a lot of players. And I think right now the game is better than, better than it's ever been for sure. It's doing really good right now. So basically in this video, I'm going to show you my Life 20 S 10,000 plus Reborn setup that uh, skips 20 so let me get rid of that basically this whole first layout is to give me money and you know some uh some stuff over here you know we have uh gear givers and uh infusers so once i get a little bit of money uh i load in my main reborn setup and it looks very scary but i will be explaining it um uh, basically uh, what I did was I did not use any click powered upgraders like uh, the lightning bolt or the arcane lightning. I did not use any of this. And uh, I still skipped 20 lives. And another neat thing is you know how you can use the final upgrader and then the Tesla. Once the ores go through the final and then they go through again, I don't even let them go through the Tesla. I just send them right to the furnace. And I'm still able to skip 20. So it's a pretty good setup. And I think for what it is, it is very compact. So, while I'm explaining, I'm going to send my ores in my starter loop. And then I'll start explaining how everything works. Basically, the mine drops ores in there. You know, I use the ore gate. And then they go in a starter loop. Uh, blue super giants are life 10,000 plus. Let me, uh... Their 10,000 plus requirement advanced reborn rarity 2. So they are pretty rare. Uh, I do have a pretty good bit of them though, but um, if you do not have super giants, uh, neutron stars, red giants, they work uh, pretty much the same, same as catalyzed stars. But so now, uh, I actually just recently made this setup yesterday. Uh, I was using this different setup for a while, but this one that I made is definitely a lot better. So basically, what it is is. Uh, once they're done, I send them through a hydraulic teleporter sender, and I have it at max height, and then it goes through an ore cannon, which goes to an Empyrean moment, uh, an Empyrean monument. Uh, you'll see some ores going through a little bit early, which I don't really mind. But once they do, they land on the stratospheric refiner vintage, which is times four at max height, and then I have this little thing where it's a hydraulic ramp down and a hydraulic freefall upgrader right below it. Reason I have it like that, I have the ramp here, is to catch the ores. So whenever the ores go through here, they don't just keep flying with momentum. This stops them, they go under here. Let's see if we get another ore. No. Okay, I'm actually just gonna send them through and we can see. Watch they get, they go through this conveyor, and then they go under there. So then I have my upside down upgraders, gravitational gear work. I have a normalizer, then I have some free falls, which they basically fall into the Goliath skull sender. I have some walls here so they don't fly out of the free fall upgraders. I have another skull right next to it basically. And this is where I have two centering conveyors and I have all my fine point upgraders. I also have all my uh, UFO upgraders above it but I have some fine point upgraders. Then I have some big upgraders because I have a lot of space over here. Might as well utilize it. I have a caramel birthday cake. I have the pizza of evolution. I have the crystal evolution. Then I have a turn. I have the birthday cake and twitch powered on the turn. Then they go through the virtual enhancer. And then they go through an astral predictor I could have put that earlier, but I figure I'd rather use the space on larger upgraders. Then I have two, I don't know why I have two executive pillars. I just remember logging in like one day in like 2016 and I just had two for some reason. So figure I'll use two. Then I have Santa Slay, Festive Spirit. Basically guys, long story short, any exotic that has a straight multiplier, uh, you could use here. Uh, Scorching Heat, then the Candy Refiner, then I have some way up high upgraders. Four ion fields, six undead assistance, and also a really cool trick is if you have the diamond egg, 
exotic, then what you can do is put it right before the Big Bertha and the ores will always launch into it because it's a fast conveyor. Some other conveyors will do that. As we can see right here. Watch. They all go through without a problem. Then pumpkin patch, I have the excellent upgrader. Uh, spooktastic refiner, I only have one industrial ore welder because I only have one spooky coal mine. Basically the difference of the spooky coal mine and the triple coal mine is the spooky coal mine drops ores a lot faster. So this will always be lit up, but whereas if you use the regular triple coal mines, then you're gonna need um, two of them, which is just more of a pain. Then I have the 100 mil upgrader, and then the robotic and maintenance supporter go together. You cannot use one, you have to use both, or else you would not get a multiplier. I believe it's times five. But, okay, I don't know how I got stuck there. Um. Okay, so next we have ore negator, just another uh, kind of fine point upgrader. And we have a ramp, then it goes in the snow globe refiner, clover shrine. I have my orbitals here. I have my ore zappers. Statue of knowledge is here because all the ores will hit it. Pirate cove, chocolate forest, hopeless fog, pineapple refiner, drone upgrader. Pumpkin hero, four professional upgraders, which actually don't really do that much, but I mean, I guess I'll have them. Then I have a ramp with a portable flamethrower. I have a heat condenser, an ore roaster. Yes, I know that you can use these four times, but the multiplier is less and I don't want to use a uh, space that doesn't get me that much money. Followed by a catalyzed star, a freon sprayer, and a orange sender. So basically once they go through my orange sender, they go up here. They go through the Hades Palace, the Vulcan's Grasp, the Endpoint Refiner, and an Ore Replicator. Then they go through a pink sender. I like to keep this separate because uh, I'm not really going to ever mess with it. You know, if I get more upgraders, I'll add them. But uh, yeah, it goes through the pink sender. Then it goes here, which honestly, I never really touch these reversibles because I have an Ore Nebula, which I'll get to in a sec. But I mean, if I want to, it goes through here. Then once they come back, I can switch it. I mess with these. I have uh, some luxury items here. But basically, I have a Stardust Pulsar and an Ore Nebula. So basically, anytime I want to, I can just click. Uh, <clears throat> where's my furnace at? Right here. I click Pulse, and they go in my furnace. And there we go, guys. That is the whole setup. This time, I am going to kind of do it at like real time so i'm gonna reborn sword god shrine and arcane lightning i have so many arcane lightnings i have 36 let me load up my setup withdraw load in my second setup also i have a floodlight here but that's not really important so basically, what I like to do is I try to get like 30 ores or so. 20 to like 40 ores is usually what I try to aim for. And uh, yes, yeah, so we will send them. All right, now seems good. I knew a lot of people, what they do is they just have a, the mine going straight into the sender, which I don't really like that because then like by the time one ore is ready you'll see it blinking but then again you have ores that are worth half of its value but if you do it this way you know all the ores will be the same value at about the same time also i need to add another neutron star right here i don't have any more because i just did uh the empyrean monument evolution but i do have enough red giants to make another neutron star which i keep forgetting about but yeah, the ores are already almost worth NVG. QNV right now. OVG. These, the super giants blink very fast, which is very good. Uh, definitely use a Nova Star, as it helps so much. And I don't know why, but I have 31 Nova Stars, which is nuts. So, they all seem to be blinking. Send them through. They'll go through the setup. I mean, here and there, I'll lose an ore here, but I think for what I have, it's pretty successful. I don't think I lost any ores right there. It's definitely a really cool trick. Also, make sure you use the hydraulic duality refiner, uh, kind of like something like this. 
where they will hit both upgrades. All right. So they're already hitting the turn. This is a pretty fast setup though, especially for almost me being almost life uh, 1400 or 14,000. I definitely think that it's very fast. Most of the upgraders I use have a pretty good multiplier. Also, I am uh, getting closer to the Sarbamba. I need seven more, because I have one placed, until I get 100. All right, all the ores go through. They're all invisible because of the hopeless bug. This is a times two, but it makes all the ores invisible. But I mean, you can still see it because of the ore tracker. Then they go through here and here. I don't even switch uh, these conveyors because there's really no need. Because what I do is I just pulse them. Once I get about halfway through this setup and then I'll be able to skip 20 lives. But yeah guys, definitely be sure to utilize uh, any high and upside down upgraders that you have. Empyrean Monument is times 200 if you have it at max height. This is times four, it's not bad. Um, I believe the duality is times four or five. I'm pretty sure these are times seven, and I think the gravitational is times ten. Especially uh, if you have some free fall upgraders, maybe have some uh, ramps down there. Get pretty good multipliers with the upside on high upgraders. But now I see the value. Usually I just pulse it right when it gets around like this area. And if I check, I can skip 20 lives. And I got a supernova, which is pretty cool. I actually might go for Centillion after this. But uh, yeah, guys, that's pretty much everything. So I hope you guys did enjoy. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for more amazing videos. Don't forget to check out my Discord server. A link in the description below, along with my fan groups and fan shirts. Let me know if you want uh, more Miner's Haven videos. Um... Yeah, because I've been pretty, I've been really playing this game a lot. It's really fun. But uh, yeah, check out my Discord server. Link in the description below. If you have made it this far in the video, I want you to comment down below. Uh, tiny iron mine like that. Because um, we have a tiny iron mine right here. And I will try to heart your comment. So yeah, guys, that's everything. Hope you guys enjoyed. Peace.